How to use Message Bird Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, in today's video, I will be showing you an application or a platform called Message Bird. So this is actually an SMS cloud-based marketing platform that is designed to help your businesses engage with your customers across a variety of channels, including WhatsApp, voice, live chat, and more. Now, first, I'm going to show you how you can create your message bird. So here, I click on my sign up button or sign in button, and you actually have three options to log into your account. So you have the engagement platform, connectivity platform, or the email platform. So I'm going to click on the connectivity platform right here. And afterwards, it will basically route me to another page. So here, uh, you can see a sign up page, but I'm going to click the sign up for free here since I don't have an account yet. Okay. To sign up, the first step is that you need to create your account using your Google or your Facebook. Or you could also sign up with your email if you are using your Yahoo Mail, uh, Hotmail, or whatnot. So as for me, I'm going to use my Google to sign up with a uh, message bird. Now here, make sure that it's your work email and let's create our account by this time afterwards okay so our next step is that we will basically um, be asked what's our goal so if you're evaluating message bird for your business then select on this one if you're a developer you could click on the next one so here you just need to in input your name and your role so in this section you need to input your first name your last name your role your personal mobile number your country and the likes okay so for the role i'm gonna have client service um success there and then i'm gonna input my mobile number and also the country now click on continue to the last step now for the fourth step you just need to tell them more about your company so input their your company name your company website uh, how many employees you have in your company what's your tech capacity and also Lastly, um, when do you expect to go live? Right? And click on complete sign up afterwards. Once the sign up has been completed, you will basically be routed to their dashboard. So here is a welcome page from MessageBird. Now let me take you to a tour to its pricing. So here in the pricing section, you can actually see all the rates or prices from voice, email, applications, their support plans, and whatnot. They also have the omni-channel and the connectivity. Now, I'm back to my dashboard and let me show you um, the left-hand panel. So here, you can actually see Insights Overview. In the Insights Overview, you could actually see like the flow or um, the report of how many SMS or your flow invocations. Uh, you could also create your report right here. So you can monitor your SMS and voice usage in this section. Okay. This is how it looks like when you start your calling and messaging. There. And then um, you can also create the report here. So when you create a report, you just need to click this button right here. And you can export report to CSV. Okay. Now you could also have like the insights overview for your flow builder. And it's actually just the same thing. So you can monitor your flow builder usage and statistics in this area. 
and also your conversations here. Alright. So next up here in the left hand panel is our contacts. So if you would want to add your customer's contacts in this section, then you can actually do that by clicking on add contact. And then you can actually choose a file uh, or like simply um, choose a file XLS, XLSX, CVS, or TXT. Those are the acceptable file here. And if you just have a single contact that you would want to add, you just need to input the number, the name, the surname, and the groups. Now, once inputting all the fields, click on the save button. You could also see your import history right here. But basically, as you can see, we don't have um, our import history yet since we just started with our message bird. Now, here in the numbers, you could actually see your numbers. So, it makes it easier to reach specific customers or groups with a number in the country and area code. So, you could actually buy a number in a specific um, country if you would want to. Just click on this blue button, basically. And then, click on the country the capabilities and the regulatory requirements that is needed okay now here in the next section we can actually see our sms and you can actually see um, sms overview campaign builder quick send bulk messages registered originators so let's take a look at the quick send um area right here in the quick send um sms you actually have the recipient the originator and then also the message now here is an important notice for traffic in the united kingdom and australia so starting june 21st or june 1st um there is a pre-registration of originators required uh, sms in the united kingdom and australia okay now if you want to send bulk messages you can actually do so as well so here you just need to follow the steps so we're gonna choose a file the delimiter the schedule and the validity in seconds okay you can actually schedule all the messages when you want to send it or you could also have it directly if you would want to All right, now let's have the WhatsApp section right here. So basically, um, with MessageBird, you could also um, uh, use this to be linked onto your WhatsApp. So you can install channel if you would want to. So to get started with WhatsApp's business API, you just need to follow these steps. First is to access your Facebook business manager. Second, a viable phone number for WhatsApp and your business legal address. So click on the get started and then afterwards you will be able to use MessageBird for your WhatsApp business API. Now here you could also go to verify API. So you just need to confirm to secure accounts and authenticate transactions and prevent fraud with the best API for two-factor authentication. Just need to follow the steps right here. Okay. Next is for the channels. Um, here is your channel setup. So you can set up any channels that you would want to use using uh, MessageBird. You actually have Telegram, Instagram, Line, and other messaging platforms as well. Okay, so here in the flow builder, you can actually um, create a flow. So here, say for example, let's go to our templates. Um, let's skip the tutorial for now. And let me just um, show you an overview of how you can do this. So here, you actually have your SMS. And then the next step is that you can forward an email there. And then you can um, see the available numbers, message word numbers right there. And then here you could also add like uh, what 
what's the next activity that you want to have after forwarding an email say for instance you want to end the flow there so after the sms you're going to forward an email and then you can add a flow so here you could also see the filters so if you want to add a note add a contact add row in google sheets you can actually do that okay now let me show you uh, this is how our inbox section looks like in our message bird so there basically we don't have um any inbox yet since we have just started and also to link your um whatsapp you just need to scan the qr code as well so there you can add a channel as well and you can also invite your first agent if you would want to there all right now here in the integration section you could also integrate other applications to make your workflow easier and more convenient on your end so you can um, integrate your google sheets your zapier toki salesforce and the likes depending on the business that you would want to add. Basically, that's about it for today's video, guys. And I hope that you will be enlightened to use MessageWord, especially for those virtual assistants that will help you a lot to um, build communication on your business. So, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and hope you find this tutorial helpful. Bye-bye.